Hi friends, it's Ruth from the Wilmot Public Library here with another nature activity. So today I thought we could go on an adventure to another world. So this world isn't a big one. It's actually a tiny one. It's called a microhabitat. So micro means small and habitat means a place where plants or animals live. So this is a small place with living creatures. Let's take a look. Today we are going to visit the microhabitat of this rotten log. Ta da Now looking at it from here, you might just think it's a boring log, but let's look underneath. What do you see here? <gasps> look at this. There is a whole world of creatures under here. So when a tree dies and falls to the ground, it makes food and shelter for a whole bunch of animals. Look in here, it creates this environment that's moist and dark and perfect for things like worms and ants and centipedes. One of my favorite things to do is to look under logs. You never know what you're gonna find. Each time it's like a surprise. Let me show you some of my favorite things I've seen. this log and found two worms and a blue spotted salamander. I like looking under logs so much that I actually keep one in my backyard. Um, my friend found this for me and it has a handle so it's perfect for rolling. What I did was I dug a little bit of a hole and then I put the log on top and then I waited for about a week and guess what? A micro habitat started to form underneath my log. It's pretty cool. There are worms and pill bugs and millipedes and centipedes. Every day I come out and take a peek and every day there's something different. It's pretty exciting. It is really fun to explore the microhabitats underneath a log. But before you begin, I wanna share with you a little log rolling etiquette or rules that I like to follow. So first, when I find a log, I am careful to roll the log toward me. That way, anything that needs to crawl out or scurry out or slither out can do so away from me. And I don't get startled and accidentally squish a friend. Next, I am careful to just observe what's going on under the log. I don't wanna dig it up or pull everybody out. I just wanna see what they're doing in their home and be respectful of that. Finally, when I'm finished, I'm careful to roll the log back into place. Um, and this helps keep their, keeps their habitat the same and nice and safe. That's it. I hope you have fun exploring these tiny worlds, and I hope you find some wonderful things.